Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. If you're new here, I'm Sandra, and as you can see, we are on location today. So we are heading into Epcot for the Flower and Garden Festival. So my goal today is to show you guys and see for myself the um, topiary displays. So I'm very excited about that. And um, we'll check out some Flower and Garden merch. We might check out some Flower and Garden food. I probably won't spend a lot of time on that. Topiaries is the goal today. <laughs> so join me as I enter the park and let's see what it's all about. Our first sighting. This is right at the entrance, so there's a lot of people here. Approaching another beautiful topiary, so it is figment. We're gonna get around the front, but I want to show you the back even with his wings. It's so pretty. Music's kind of loud, and then you have the flowers. So just an up close of the flowers, all the beautiful succulents they are made out of, and then just look how pretty all the the colorful flowers are here as well. We'll get a view from around the front now from the front view and they're doing some photos here so we'll just stand to the side but there he is in all his glory beautiful pigment so taking a look at a little bit of the orange bird merch here is the lounge fly did you take a picture no i should have i wasn't fast so that is really pretty and you've got kind of a pocket there. I'm not going to pull it down, but a pocket that then Orange Bird sits in the bowl. And if you look up close at all the icons there, very cute, like packs of seeds and gardening hose, oranges, super cute. And here is the new cup, and this is by Corksicle. So you can see that on the back here. And then, wow, it's a heavy cup. You've got Epcot Flower and Garden, International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. And again, like that same emblem. I love the color, I love the light peach. So those are very cute. And then there are some bags. So let's walk over to the bags that are the smaller ones. So for the small bags, and these are right now, I guess I didn't tell you prices on the other ones, but these are limit two per customer. So super cute. Little, um, like a small shoulder bag, crossbody, but it also has a little handle on the top to hold it with. And it looks like you could put it, attach it to your belt. And then there is a strap inside to make it the crossbody. And those right now are going for $60 each. Let's go back to the corksicles because I didn't tell you the price on those. So let's see, these are $50 basically. You have the flower pots. So this is a little planter, but it doesn't have the holes in the bottom. And that is. $34.99. Very cute with Orange Bird hanging out on the trim there. You've got these milk cartons. And I guess that's supposed to be like a maybe a watering can or you could use it as a vase. Very cute. $29.99. They've got kind of the cold. Uh, Turvis style tumbler, very cute, $34.99 on that, some t-shirts, oh and then the spirit jersey, so this is the new, the original Florida orange bird, the bottom has all the same theming, let's see what's on the front. You have the, oh, that's kind of cute. It's an orange, but in like the, the Epcot ball style. 
and this is kind of a tie-dye wash green. And then look at the sleeve. So you've got orange bird going down the sleeve. Let's see if I can show you. But you've got orange bird and orange slices going down, looks like on the left sleeve. And then do we have anything on the right? Nope. So that is the new spirit jersey. A cute t-shirt. So we'll check the price on the spirit jersey as well. But this one's cute. I really like that shirt. This style is $39.99. And then back to the spirit jersey for a minute, which is, well, that's a great question. They usually run about nine. The ornament is super cute. A little orange bird in the flower pot there for $24.99. And then the ears. Oh, these got kind of a, um, the feeling is like an actual orange. I don't know if you can see all the texture on that, but those are very cute. And then also, let's see what the price is on these. These are $44.99. That is pretty high for the ears, so. We're gonna wait on those, definitely. One more item I wanna show you is the mug. This takes me back a bit because I remember getting orange sippers um, where they were fresh oranges, like, hmm, probably 30 years ago. <laughs> but these look like they have the, um, the thing to actually squeeze oranges. And these are $24.99, but very cute coffee mug. And there's lots of other items as well, little things here and there. Guys, this is so beautiful. And this is where you get a lot of the, um, the floral smells of the flowers. It's just so pretty. This is kind of on the pathway to the World Showcase. And it's just stunning the way they've decorated and built in the design with the flowers. Just beautiful. Okay, hey, we're gonna go see Mickey and me. Oh, I see Goofy way across there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Goofy Topiary, I think it's Goofy. But we'll come back to that. We'll go around and get a closer look. We are with Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. How gorgeous. And Mickey and Minnie have a beautiful flower pot between them. Mickey's holding some flowers. Oh, these are gorgeous. How fun is that? Look at her dress in all the red flowers. And then look at how even Pluto's tongue, it's kind of like a moss and then painted pink. Very fun. So much attention to detail on these. Just a beautiful display. He's even got his bone there and they are just surrounded by flowers. And then we come around the front and we've got Chip and Dale. <laughs> and they've got their corn and carrots. So, so pretty. Oh, I love it. Again, the other side of where you'll smell all the scents, there's a note of lilac, hint of citrus, and they have the butterfly topiaries. So pretty. And there's the around the lake that we just saw. And the next one. It smells so lovely. Different scents over here. This is hibiscus sunset. So a bit of citrus, a bit of hibiscus. Oh guys, this one is great. It's um, very tropical, really nice. These are, I believe, Scentsy scents. If you're a collector of the candles and 
um, wax melts. This is more of on the pathway to World Showcase. So walking through here, oh, everything is just so gorgeous. And we're going to be approaching the Encanto topiary characters. So stand by for that. Here, guys, as we get some folks out of our way, you can see Isabella. Oh, how pretty. Look at her flowers over her. And then you have Antonio Mirabel. Oh my gosh, look at her skirt and the details built into that. So Mirabel and Isabella. These are stunning. Let's step back and take a look. All of them together. So pretty. And here's Goofy. So we're going to head over and try our first item on the little food menu. I've not done this before, but you know, if you get five of the items, then you get a treat. Um, so we'll just try it. We'll see if we can get the first one and see how it goes throughout the day. We have Donald. Look at his garden. It's so pretty. He's definitely doing some gardening. He's got his hoe there, his sunflowers in the background. Let's get a closer look at those. So pretty. Let's pretend they're in order. Let's call that Huey. I really have no idea who's who of these guys, but they are adorable. They've also got their garden tools, so hopefully they are gardening with Donald sometime today. Very cute. And now we have Buzz to infinity and beyond. Hey, he's cool. Here we have Miguel and Dante, and oh my goodness, look at Dante, so beautiful with all the color, like his alabrea. Sorry guys, I always forget how to pronounce that. But even the marigolds that he's on, and then look at Miguel. This is awesome, so beautiful. These are very pretty. These are like they have the ears they're selling on. Oh, that's adorable. So cute. They don't look as healthy. I don't know if that's the color of the leaves that have the red in it or if they're actually dying a little bit. It's interesting, but very pretty. Here we have Anna and Elsa. And in China, we're visiting the panda bears. Here we have Snow White and Dopey and all the beautiful flowers around her. She's gorgeous, even down to the slipper coming out of her skirt. And Dopey with his little axe, pickaxe, and look at all the beautiful flowers around her. So, so pretty. And then if you just walk over to the other side, you have the seven dwarfs. Ooh, let's see if I can do this. So we start with Doc. You can see all of them in a line going down. We've got Grumpy. It looks like Happy. Uh, sleepy. Uh oh, I'm forgetting one. We got Sneezy. I just forgot a dwarf. 
But here they are, so pretty. And all the flowers around them in like Snow White's colors. That's awesome. Bashful, that was the other one. Bashful, sleepy, sneezy, dark, grumpy, dopey, and happy. Another garden set up with the trains. And you'll see the two trains passing. A small village over there. They go through the tunnels and up to the higher levels. I'm now walking through the Americas Pavilion and I just spotted Tiana's topiary. So we are headed over to see her. I'm going to turn the camera around and you're going to be amazed. Here we go, guys. She's coming into view. Can you see her? We got all kinds of people standing in front. She's so beautiful. Let's get up closer. Here we are and she is stunning. She is surrounded by magnolias. But look at her dress. So beautiful. So much detail. down to the bottom just so so pretty and everything around her this is stunning the dragon here in Japan is another gorgeous one so well done lots of um, succulents on this one as well and he's in such a beautiful setting that is just stunning detail there. It's kind of cool that you can see the Epcot ball way behind. Okay, this one is adorable. We've got Piggy and Kermit. Look at her shoes. All the way up to her gloves and jewels on her gloves. Huh. So cute. And you've got Kermit on the bicycle with flowers in his basket. This is so lovely. And then they are just surrounded by the floral garden. Here we have all the Winnie the Pooh characters. So we've got Winnie the Pooh. We've got rabbit, look at those carrots. And they're in a beautiful flower patch as usual. And then as we go down, we'll approach Tigger. Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore on this side. That is awesome. Look at Piglet's whole little outfit. <laughs> That's great. With the red leaves there, making up his sweater and sad little Eeyore. And then I love how they've done the stripes on Tigger. Very nice. With some lovely music in the background, we have Peter Pan and Captain Hook. These are amazing. Look at Peter's face. And the beautiful flower bed. And then over on the other side, we'll go and take a look he is awesome looking. Here we are with Bambi, and we also have Thumper and Flower. Thumper and Flower. Mentioned, I was getting some food. They call it the garden grains. If you get five items that are on the list of like seven or eight items, then you get a um, treat at the end. So the treat is a Dole Whip and it's a, um, I think they said lemon lime, like mango. He said it kind of tastes like a Sprite. But this is how it comes and it comes with a pack of seeds as well. So 
Um, the seeds are wildflower seeds and it says garden grays on there. And then the cup is adorable. So you've got garden grays and on here you've got the Flower and Garden International Festival. So that's pretty fun. I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you guys know how it is. Here we have Toy Story characters. We have Bo Peep, the sheep, and Woody. She's kind of plain green, but I do love her top and the way the bodice is done. Let's put some twine in there. And then the sheep are pretty hairy with their what looks like ferns. And then Woody, there you go, very cute. And I love that they added some of the blocks from the toys. This is just a great display. amazing beautiful I think we hit them all um, so hopefully I was able to include everything in the final cut of the video I also am going to talk to you guys a little bit now about the food I tried because it was great um, it's not a, a full food review but I did the garden grays where you picked five items and then you got a treat at the end I think I talked a little bit about it throughout the video but I just want to insert some of those pictures here. So I tried a, the first thing I had was an avocado toast and that was delicious. Um, it had some like floral stuff on top. It looked like flowers that I was eating and um, tomatoes on a great um, crostini type toast. Anyway, that was delicious. Also had a impossible farmhouse meatball which that I probably would have said that would have been the least that I liked but it was actually really good and then I also had a plant-based buffalo chicken tender poutine and that was also surprisingly good um, it had a um, great buffalo sauce it was on like tater tots it had blue cheese it was delicious and the other thing that I tried that it was surprisingly good was a fruit parfait so it was fresh fruit um, kind of like a mixed fruit cup, but then layers of Dole Whip in between. The Dole Whip was mango flavored and it was topped with a chili sauce and some spices there, which had gave it a really great tangy flavor and that was delicious. And then um, I think the last thing I had as an extra item was a coconut trace leche cake and that was also wonderful so all of the food items all of these seasonal items were delicious and then the gift that you got at the end the treat for trying five items was a, another parfait type thing so it was a um lemon lime and mango dole whip which was really delicious as well and that's what came in that really cute cup i've been inserting pictures as we go here and um, that was really delicious too. So all in all it was a great day with the um, seeing the topiaries. I didn't really do any rides. I didn't do any rides. I did um, some character meet and greets looking around at all the beautifulness that is flower and garden a little bit of merch shopping and it was an amazing day so thank you guys for coming along and joining me hope you enjoyed it and I um, hope we'll do some more of these soon. See you on the next one. Bye.